Hey, welcome back. Did you know it is the unofficial national breakfast week I here do now. on daytime at nine? So in celebration of that, I'm going to whip up something with you today, Bon. All right. It's one of my favorite breakfasts to make. You know how you wake up in the morning and you're really craving a breakfast taco, but there's no way you can leave. The kids are and watching you can't cartoons. Make everything that quick. Right. So one morning I was thinking, well, I have tortillas that I bought at HEB. I have eggs. I don't have any potatoes. So then I made an exception. So here is nice. how I make my tater tot slash french fry breakfast tacos. Do and tell. you're going to help me. All right. Because you're going to make them this weekend. Okay, so first we need a little. A little bit of oil. I use olive oil at home, but you can use just use a little bit of canola oil. Cisco? So, whatever right. you know. So this is what I did that day. I told you I didn't have potatoes, and I also didn't feel like uh, you know peeling and cutting up potatoes. So you just get your oil hot in the pan. Now I'm going to ask you, Bond, are you in the mood for tater tots or are you in the mood for French fries? Because uh, you can do either or. Let's do both. Both. I like yes. your style. So you just take some frozen's. I hope this is hot. It's not very hot. Wait for it. I'm waiting for the sizzle. Okay. I had it on the other one, it was working better. So we'll do both. So you can do french fries and tots. Whatever, I like a lot. And this is also how I kind of trick my kids into eating it. Uh, okay. Do that with vegetables so once, as well? <laughs> no, they never <laughs> fall for that. So then once it actually starts sizzling, and I put them in frozen too, I don't even bother to thaw them out. And then I start kind of breaking them up, you know, you get a good tricep workout like that. <laughs> Juan, watch out, there is hot oil involved. And yes, you need to Look. stand. There should be a caution sign when Kimberly cooks. Hey, it's you're going to be thing. impressed. No, the grease around here. The <laughs> grease, not, not so, cooking. So once this is all, this takes a while. we got to let this actually get warmed up and start sizzling. And so you can throw these but in frozen, correct? I do throw them in frozen, kind of like Saves now. Saves you some time right it there. It does. This is what I did at home. But then here's the thing, Bob. When I first cooked breakfast tacos, I thought you had to take the scrambled eggs and put them in a dish and mix them up. Yes. Take the eggs and like you were going to make scrambled eggs. Yes. But then I found out the best way to do this, and I guess everyone knew this, you know, but me, is you just you just put the eggs straight in there. Yeah. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I don't know. This, I don't put. I, I don't always put them in a bowl and whisk it. I just mm -hmm. usually crack them and put them in there. Okay. Well, look, I'm still waiting for this. Can we please work on getting a stove that gets hotter? You're making me look bad. <laughs> Daytime at nine. <laughs> this is not getting warm. Okay, Bond. So let's pretend. How long? How long does this have to go for? Well, until they're not frozen. How, so a while. How high is this stove right it's here? It's on high, Bond. It's on high. Okay. If we could do extra high, I would do it. Okay. So will you do me a favor? Will yes, you grab an egg? And we're going to do however many you want. I actually like more potatoes and uh, than egg in my tacos, but I'm weird well, like that. Pop up going level, right? So, isn't that the yeah. name of it? So, these aren't really done all the way. This is a problem. I eat well, cold ahead pizza, and, so I can, I can imagine eating some cold potatoes. Go ahead. Crack cracking one them? in there, yeah. It's not going to be as good as I would like. Right. But you would wait till this was brown and cooked all the way through. Let's see if I can so do this. So, just without, crack them in, bud. Put in some shell in there. Do it. And we can do this together. Just start cracking them. Just start. Go into town. Uh, oops, hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, there's a um, there's a shell yeah, in there. Give me all the eggs, I'll do the cracking. Okay, do that, keep going. I usually do like eight, I do a lot. Yeah, we gotta feed the crew over that's here. Right. How okay, many, uh, that's a good question. How many does this feed? That's yes. what my producer just asked. I don't know, Lorena. You know, I do it different every time. It's all the kids. Depending. <laughs> Depends on how many you kids know you have. It'll at least feed a family of four. But this my... is quick because it saves you time from cutting up the potatoes. That's right. It. So I usually use about eight, nine, however many oh, are in there. Use then, a whole dozen, then. Now I need a napkin. You need I'm a napkin. Got a napkin. Okay. So then you got a salt and pepper bun. Okay. How so much salt? Why don't are we you, in? Uh, you know, just just feel it out. Bam. That'll work. That'll work. And then a little pepper. All okay, right. and now we got to start stirring because the eggs are going to start sticking. So just stir that up, Bon. Stir that up. I'm Mix those eggs. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. Okay. Smells yeah. actually pretty good. You got to crack the yolk. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Hey, we may we may need some more egg. This is not cooking very well. There we go. It's slowly. My oven's need better. Need more egg. My stove is better at home. Do I need more egg? No, no more eggs. No, I'm no more eggs. We'll say that for you. But you know year. what? So. Of course, I wish I knew how to make homemade tortillas. I okay. do not. But what I do know how to do is go to HEB to that area by the deli yes. where they have them in the ice chest and they're warm. These, and so I use those, and nobody knows the difference. You they're know, delicious. I did not know they had those at HEB like that. I know that they had you them at Eleven Meat Market and uh, which kind of and all that this stuff. This is but possibly not there. the slowest stove ever known to man. Seriously, guys. It's okay. It's a part two. I think. I think it's this a part is. Two, to, I think I'm be being continued. punked right now because this is not getting hot. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to keep stirring this bun. Okay. Through the break, and hopefully it will actually cook because <laughs> the stove will get warm. But uh, I know you want this recipe. <laughs> I'm going to post it on our website. I actually want something to eat Fox right now. FoxSanAntonio.com. And you know what? I'm going to switch to a different burner here. And during the break, hopefully it will cook.